Hi everyone, today's video is um, my version of Tim's December tag for 12 tags of 2013. He made this uh, lovely poinsettia tag and I'm going to do a snowflake version. And I actually have some of the products this month and uh, I've got the Clearly for Art which has been waiting for uh, me to have a play. So I've got that little uh, piece of paper plus uh, Santa bought me the film and he also bought me some stencils courtesy of my lovely mum and uh, so I'm going to be able to put some of them to good use on this tag. I didn't have the right colour distress stain for the tag that I want to make so I'm going to be using distress ink so I've got peacock feathers, broken china and walnut stain and I'm going to be using them to make the background of my tag. I'm going to be using some of the techniques that Tim has used but not all of them. So as usual I begin with my base tag which is 3 by 6 inches and I use my template just to trim it into a tag shape. When Tim made his tag he did some paint splatters at the very end of his tag. I'm going to use that technique but I'm going to do it right at the beginning. I haven't got the fancy tool that he used but a paintbrush works just as well. So I'm using some distressed paint in a picket fence and then I'm just watering it down a little bit so that I can get a nice delicate splatter, just testing it and then I'm going to splatter all over my tag. I'm definitely going for a snowy look and this, if uh, you are a subscriber to my channel, is based on uh, a journal page that I did recently. So you'll be able to see uh, a design that I made miniaturised and uh, the snowflakes that I'm going to be putting on it will be um, upsized. So I think I'm going to be doing a combination from my art journal page and Tim's techniques on his December tag. So I'm just going to dry off that splatter so that it's going to act as a kind of resist. And now instead of using the Distress Stain to cover the background of my tag, I'm going to be using a Distress Ink and I'm using Broken China. And I think this is probably my most used colour um, other than browns and blacks. And as you can see, uh, it's a little bit dry, so I think I might need to um, re-ink this one next time I use it. But I'm going to persevere, and I'm using this little scrap of paper to avoid getting fingerprints on my snow background. And you can see already that the little splatters that I've put onto the tag are um, quite effective in resisting the ink and creating a nice, delicate, snowy background. I'm happy with that depth of colour and I'm just taking a dry piece of kitchen towel just to remove some of the ink from my um, snowy splatters. The next thing I'm going to do after I've cleaned this stencil, naughty person that I am leaving it all inky from last time, um, I definitely need to clean it because I'm going to be using it to make some snowy dots onto my tag. I'm going to be using this uh, White Brilliance ink pad and the stencil just to add some dots onto the background of my tag. So Tim used his tag to add the Harlequin uh, diamonds into the background of his tag but I'm going to be using these dots because I thought they were a little bit more appropriate for the snowy look that I'm going to go for. So I've got the white on the uh, top of the tag to represent snow. Just drying that off with my heat gun. Then I'm distressing the edges of my tag, a little bit off camera there, sorry about that. And uh, I don't have a fancy tool but I uh, find the edge of my scissors works quite well. And then I'm going to go in with the peacock feathers just to give myself a darkened edge, a bit of a frame to the tag that I'm going to create. And then I decided that I would add a little bit of that texture again, but this time using the peacock feathers to the bottom of my tag. Then I'm using the uh, distress paint in the picket fence just to add another little bit of texture to the edge of the tag. Now I found that, found that the white kind of blended into the ink a little bit here, so I'm just being a little bit more... Um, what am I being a little bit more thorough with my paint this time just to make sure I've got a definite white edge to my tag. 
To create a little snowman on the bottom of my tag, I'm using this book page, and I've actually got the uh, section that has um, Christmas um, and words to do with Christmas. It's a little bit of a, an old dictionary page, and I'm just drawing a snowman, roughly sketching it onto my words. And I found that I couldn't quite um, make them fit over the Christmas words, so I've just cut out another, almost like a template that I'm going to trace around so that I can position it on the words that I want to cut out and then I'm going to cut out my snowman and then I'm cutting him apart so dividing in him into his little extra snowballs removing the pencil lines that I've got and then I'm going to be inking the edges of my snowman to add some depth with the walnut stain ink once again, I'm disappearing off camera, so I'm sorry about that, but uh, I didn't realise that I was doing that, but I'm coming back on camera, slowly but surely. So I've got my three little sections of snowman that's going to sit roughly here on my tag. And I'm also going to use a little bit more book page for the little reinforcer at the top of my tag which I can glue into position. And then I'm going to glue my snowman. So I'm actually gluing him together first, as you can see just about at the bottom of my video, and then I'm going to attach him to the tag. And to create the frame for my tag, I'm cutting a piece of cardstock slightly bigger than the three by six inches, and then I'm just trimming it to size with my scissors. So I just like a small amount of tag to show in the background and I've decided to cover that with some more of the dictionary page. I'm just randomly covering, try not to get too much of the um, blank spaces which form the columns of the dictionary. I'm going to be using some multi-medium or Claudine Helmuth multi matte medium <laughs> to attach my dictionary pages. That's a bit of a mouthful as a product description. And I quite like this because it dries nice and flat and there's no shiny bits involved, which uh, when you're going to be inking is quite handy. It also doesn't um, seem to rip all the paper, which is nice. So I'm just cleaning that up, giving it a quick blast with my heat gun. I did think about ripping the edges, but I think I'm just going to trim them off in fact, I am trimming them off, as you can see, with my scissors, and then I'm going to distress the edges in the normal way with the edge of my scissors. So it's just a peek at the edge of the tag, and then I'm going to be colouring that with more walnut stain. I love blues and browns together, and this is coming together quite nicely. I do say so myself. I've got some nice uh, Christmassy ribbons in similar colours so I'm going to attach some of those to the bottom of my tag. I'm using strong double-sided tape to attach these little pom-poms. And they make quite a nice if, like snowball effect at the bottom of the tag which is quite appropriate for my subject matter. And then I've got this Santa's on his way ribbon which is also in blues and browns. Now I like to add the tape right across and extend out from the bottom of the tag Then when you trim the ends of the ribbon they've already got a little bit of sticky tape on the back and just fold away neatly onto the back of your tag. And now I want to bring my snowman to life. So I'm just using a black pen to outline the um, shape of the snowman and then just sketching in the nose and adding some dots to represent his eyes and my snowman is definitely looking up to the skies and he's on the lookout for some of those new um, snowflakes that are going to be falling very shortly just a little bit of orange the teeniest tiniest scrap is all that's needed but to give my snowman a carrot nose I'm just rounding off the bottom so it doesn't um, sit straight on the top of his head. And then once again, I'm just outlining. 
and giving him the texture of a carrot for his nose. Now at this point, if you saw my tag that I posted yesterday, which is my November tag, I had some branches that I'd cut out and uh, I'm having a little bit of a rummage in my bin for the bits that I didn't use because they're perfect to give my snowman some arms. So I'm just trimming the little scraps that I had and uh, turning them, as you can see, into the arms for my snowman. They do say never throw anything away. Well, I had thrown it away, but not too far that I couldn't rescue it. So I'm going to um, stamp my quote now. So I've got my perfect medium ink pad and some fine detail black powder. And I've decided to uh, do the letters one at a time because I can't quite see where I'm stamping with the uh, clear embossing ink and um, I just want to get my letters in the right place so I'm going to be embossing them one at a time. So I'm being a little bit careful as I do this because uh, I have a tendency to get embossing powder everywhere and uh, I'm succeeding in being quite good. Uh, I just noticed that I've got embossing powder all over my snowballs. But luckily for me I haven't been heating it with my heat gun otherwise I'd have black snowballs instead of white ones so it just dusted off and then I'm just attaching the uh, little twig arms and I've, you can see that I've trimmed them down a little bit. I thought they had too many branches on them so I've gone down, gone for a slim down version for his arms. Now on Tim's two tags that he made this month, he used a new technique and a couple of products that are new to me. Uh, one of them is this Clearly for Art by uh, Wendy Vecchi and the other is the Frosted Film which I'm just cutting a little slice off now. Now the Frosted Film really actually reminds me of the kinds of things that we cover our kids' school books with so I'm hoping not to have too much difficulty covering this little bit of clear, um, it's almost like a thick acetate and uh, Tim used both of these products to great effect to make a lovely um, frosted finish on a couple of poinsettias and a couple of holly leaves that he used to adorn his tags. Now I'm going for snowflakes because I just happen to have snowflake dyes and obviously snowflakes go with the little snowman that I've been putting on my tag. So I'm using the same technique as I would with uh, covering a book. So adding a little bit of the frosted film and then using my ruler just to come and uh, drag it down to cover. The clearly for art piece of acetate. So trimming off the edges so they're no longer sticky. I have got a few bubbles at the top. I'm not really too worried about them. I'm just giving them a little pierce as Tim directed and then using my ruler and a bone folder to try and press them out as best I can. I've been away and I've had a little bit of a struggle cutting these out. I didn't have the die that, or the dies that Tim was using. I had a couple of uh, Marianne die, which were snowflakes, and I found that I couldn't get it to cut all the way through. So I've been trimming them around, as you can see here, sort of following the groove that I've made with the die. So it is quite an easy job to cut them out, and uh, I'm just cutting out the remainder of the little snowflakes. So I managed to get them, it could be the fact that the dies are uh, not up to the job of cutting through this quite thick acetate. I probably would have been better with a big die, um, but I just didn't have anything suitable. So uh, I persevered with this and I'm getting the uh, right result, uh, albeit taking a little bit more time to cut these little snowflakes out. And whilst I'm cutting it out, I just thought I'd tell you that I'm not going to be using um, a permanent archival ink to cover or to colour my snowflakes because I want them to be white and uh, I'm going to do a couple of them blue. So I'm going to be using instead my distress paints and I'm just going to stipple them on to the back of the snowflakes. I do like the natural frosted effect on uh, the snowflakes that you can see here but they just needed to stand out a little bit more on my tag so I'm just adding or stickling on some picket fence onto the back 
of each of my snowflakes and then I'm going to use some broken china on the back of a couple of the snowflakes that I'm going to layer up. So I've worked, definitely worked on the back of the snowflakes so that the frosted film is on the front and uh, then I use my heat gun and I'm using them just to shape the clear leaf art is uh, something that you can heat up and shape and it will hold that shape once you've got it in position I find it a little bit awkward because the snowflakes themselves are a little bit fiddly and um, I think that had I used the leaf shapes it would have been a a much easier job but I am getting a little bit of dimension and then I'm going to heat some of these and then I'm going to press them so that they uh, form a little bit of a cup shape just to add a little bit of uh, dimension to each of my snowflakes. So now it's time to attach my lovely frosty snowflakes to my tag and I'm using a pokey tool just to pierce the centre which is quite easy considering uh, that this is definitely a more robust material than um, acetate and then I'm attaching them to my tag with a uh, gem brad so I've got some gem brads and some pearl brads and I'm going to mix them up and I'm going to put two of the larger snowflakes on my tag first and I need a snowflake to be uh, falling on my snowman's nose and I'm just going to use a single snowflake for this and a little pearl brad and then the final little snowflake which I'm layering up with another little pearl brad so I really like how these have turned out and uh, they definitely add a lovely dimension to this tag I'm definitely going to have a go at the um, poinsettia that uh, Tim used on his tag one day when I treat myself to the right dye uh, I really liked how that turned out that lovely translucent quality um, is lovely and I'll probably use some of that film actually on acetate on some of my cars because I think it will work equally as well on acetate as it does on the clearly uh, for art product I'm attaching it to the frame finally and there's not much left to do so I'm adding little hole to the top of the tag and some more of that just need to make my uh, hole a little bit bigger because I'm using two layers of ribbon and I'm just looping it through the top of the tag Just trimming all the ends of the ribbon diagonally to help stop the ribbon fraying. And then I always like to add something uh, to the tag to say what month it is. Obviously this one's December and I'm going to add this little uh, pearl as well. Looks a bit like a snowball. And uh, I'm just going to make some little dots of orange card. Now, I don't happen to have the right punch so I'm going to do this freehand and I just want two little orange circles and on one side of this little charm I'm going to write December 2013 and on the other side inspired by Tim Holtz so I'm roughing at the edges as I did on my tag a little bit delicate operation and then again round with the walnut stain ink and very carefully and as tiny as I can do it, I'm writing December 2013. That's going to cover up the thank you that's on this little silver charm. And I'm using that as a template to create my second little circle. So gluing the first one down. And then working on the second circle, which will say inspired by Tim Holtz. You might need a magnifying glass to read it, but it definitely uh, does say inspired by Tim Holtz. And so I'm attaching that to the other side of my charm and I'm threading the charm on 
to this little uh, paper clip and attaching that to the ribbon. And then I think I'm finished. So I got my inspiration from Tim originally, but I've also got a little bit of inspiration from my art journal page. And I hope that uh, you like this December tag. So I've only got two left to do. And uh, so it's gonna be a bit of a rush to get those in before the new year, but that's this video finished. So here's a lovely close up of that frosty snowflake. And uh, you can see what a difference that lovely film makes to the shiny, um, clearly for art product. Uh, it really is a nice effect. I hope uh, you like this tag. I've still got October and January left to do. So wish me luck as I try and get them in before Big Ben strikes and uh, Herald's in 2014. Thank you for watching.